ABC breaks the ice with Skating with the Stars. Glee gets into the holiday spirit, and Black Swan banks at the box office. This is Just Dance for December 9th, 2010. It was a gleeful Christmas at McKinley High this week, as members of the New Directions treated viewers to some holiday favorites. A beautiful duet between Blaine and Kurt was one of the episode's highlights. Their chemistry and the blend of their voices created a truly touching holiday number. Rachel Berry sang an emotional, Merry Christmas, darling, on a snow-filled stage, while the rest of the gang caroled, We Need a Little Christmas, and Welcome Christmas. Glee's resident choreographer Zach Woodley remained on point, and some exciting news. Glee, the Christmas album, is currently available in stores and for download on iTunes. From ABC comes a new sure-to-be favorite, Skating with the Stars. Silver Screen's Sean Young currently stars on The Young and the Restless, but she is also a trained dancer who's taking a turn at ice skating. Unfortunately, Sean was the first contestant kicked off the series last week. Disney star Brandon Michael Smith is best known for playing Nico on Sunny with a Chance. An avid rollerblader, Brandon is making a smooth transition from pavement to ice. Motley Crue frontman Vince Neil dusted off the old skates from childhood and is rocking the rink. Daytime Emmy nominee Rebecca Budig traded in her role on All My Children for a spin on skates. Olympian Johnny Mosley is known as one of America's top free skiers, but on ABC he is trying a whole new winter sport. And finally, NYC housewife and columnist Bethany Frankel is going from skinny girl to skating girl. After a tough round of competition this week, Vince Neil was sent home. Tune in to ABC next Monday night at 8 p.m. for an all-new episode of Skating with the Stars. California's Anaheim Ballet is much more than a prestigious dance company located south of Los Angeles. They are also a YouTube channel with over 27 million views, ranking fourth amongst most subscribed nonprofit channels of all time. Their videos range from educational and behind the scenes to magical tutus, quick changes, and urban ballet. This season, the Anaheim Ballet performed a fantastic production of The Nutcracker and uploaded behind the scenes rehearsal footage to their channel. The company will also bring the Nutcracker to Mesquite and Laughlin, Nevada in mid-December. Visit their channel at youtube.com slash Anaheim Ballet for a wealth of ballet videos and more info on all of their productions. In celebration of the eight days of Hanukkah, we found one of the funniest holiday dance videos floating around YouTube, Hardcore Hanukkah Dance. Directed by Oren Kaplan, this original music video is chocked full of hilarious lyrics, sour cream, Gelt, and of course, instructions on how to properly execute the hardcore Hanukkah dance. Miriam and Shoshana first break down dreidel style. From side to side, roll some brisket to the side. Now that you know how to do the Hanukkah dance, let's bust it out with Miriam and Shoshana. Hanukkah dance, Miriam shows the Hanukkah dance. Check out more of their videos at youtube.com slash ocaplin. Miss Mariah Carey. You know it's the holiday season when you start hearing Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You in every store you walk into. Well, the Grammy winner has released a follow-up album called Merry Christmas to You, and the first single entitled Oh Santa was written by Mariah herself. The retro music video has some cute choreography that gets you in the holiday spirit. The male dancers execute moves reminiscent of the Jackson 5, and the young backup dancers don't miss a single beat, proving that they have the energy to share the screen with Mimi. Mariah typically works with choreographer Debbie Allen, but not this time. Miss Allen handed the choreographer reins to her assistants, Latrina Bulger and Dion Watson. Latrina has danced for artists like Kelly Rowland, Jordan Sparks, and Bette Midler, while Dion has worked with Nelly Furtado and Fergie and was seen in Stomp the Yard. And a side note, the two dancers are married in real life. Dance On brought you behind the scenes of the new Darren Aronofsky film Black Swan, which hit theaters last Friday. The film had the highest per screen average this weekend, pulling in around $80,000 per theater. New York City Ballet's Benjamin Millipier choreographed the dark psychological film and also had the opportunity to play the role of the prince opposite real-life girlfriend Natalie Portman. 
Though this was his first major motion picture, Millepied has worked with the prestigious Paris Opera Ballet, Pacific Northwest Ballet, and the American Ballet Theater. Millepied did an exceptional job whether it was a scene in ballet class, rehearsal, or the actual production of Swan Lake, Benjamin's work is technical and elegantly staged. It was equally impressive to see how well his choreography was placed on non-dancers Natalie Portman and Mila Kunis. The two actresses held their own up against the real dancers in the film. Mila was graceful and distinct, while Natalie's physical dedication to the role of Nina makes her completely deserving of all Oscar buzz. We give Black Swan a 9 on our danceometer. The film is in select theaters now. This week you saw Stars on Skates, Natalie Portman on Point, and the Anaheim Ballet Online. Tune in next week for an all-new episode of Just Dance on Dance On, the dance video network.